everybody, recording has begun. We are here. Day two of the Melee Gods run. So execution run and chat will tell you what's up. But um, yeah, I said I would never do a Melee run again and I lied. Oh no, Chonk, Chonk. I just remember Chonk. Why, Chonk, why? Do you guys remember Chonk? I remember Chonk. Oh God, that feels bad. Anyway, yeah, there's the remnants of Chonk now. So um, the previous Melee run, I think is going to end up being harder than this one because it was before ideology and before biotech but this one's already already had some interesting stories we almost lost several times almost lost several times uh yesterday and uh it was pretty nuts we even had a moment yesterday where christopher was uh having a breakdown we got a manhunter attack he was being attacked by like 15 manhunting animals he was like one hit from being downed and he lived uh let you come upon for new year's well that's up to the the rng of the q so right down in chat and also in game all right so we did manage to get our second uh melee god so that is excellent so that's really good uh we got a few days left on doing all these festivals to try to get a new planter miner doctor etc um, and obviously aim for another melee god, but we won't be able to have another melee god for almost two years because the only way we can procreate right now is to implant our genes, and you can't be a real colonist unless you have melee god genes. So we will see how today goes. See how today goes. So right now, our goal is to get this wall done, hopefully before Cassandra's next uh, hits start happening. And yeah, oh yeah, Blim. We absolutely wrecked Blim during it. We had to, to survive. Blim was gonna be our downfall. So I had to cut his limbs off. So uh, I don't have a command set up. I mean, Exhibition Genes is set up, but it doesn't show the specifics. I'll show my genes really quick. There you go. You can pause it or clip it or whatever and look if you want, but we got a lot of good stuff and a lot of bad stuff. So lots of good, lots of bad, so. We have slaves this time yeah it's part of the theme of this run exclamation run will tell you more but yes we are using slaves um <laughs> all right uh so we we managed to get some go juice so we got go juice so we're good for a while on these but we will have to go get some more at some point we're working on getting micro electronics right now so we can start uh re-allying and you know getting to and calling in allies and getting to ground penetrating scanners and all that now, we did end up angering the people that we just allied, so we're going to have to befriend them again. Yeah, they're very unattractive, yeah, among among other things. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's really unfortunate with Chonk. Oh, my God, they were such a good pawn. They would have been so good. But you're watching your friend play in a Friday night magic tournament while watching. Asked this was supposed to be out of the box. Play was allowed. The exact play that you mentioned seemed like I were you're giving him hints. Oh, yeah. Whoops, whoopsie. whoopsie. Oh, I didn't, I haven't noticed the new sounds, well, not really new anymore, but the 1.4 sounds for making drugs. You hear that? Yes, you have to have the melee god genes to be an actual colonist. So, both of these have them now. So we won't be able to get another one for two years unless we collect the genes. What happened that had Lumberjack take a machete? Chonk on Friday the 13th? Oh my god. All right, so there's two clips in the Discord that you have to watch for the Chonk incident. So there's two clips. Uh, I think they're both po both posted by Polywash. Anyway, we are allied to the pigs. The pigs come and there's a pig named Chonk and he is a great pawn. Like he has everything we need. He has he, He's just a great pawn. And he's lagging behind the others. So I wait at the edge of the map until they're almost off. I I arrest him, so kidnap him, which makes it uh, so that uh, the pigs are angry with us, but they're all off the map, so it doesn't matter. We bring Chonk back, right? He's about to put him in this room because I have this set as a prison. And to save time, I put a prison bed here, and then I set this as not a prison bed. But then, instead of just letting him reroute, I, I'm... I'm thinking that he's kind of already dropped him. So I grab and I just misclick onto undraft. Undraft makes them drop chonk. And if they're, um, if you drop them and they're able to stand and their enemies with you, you can't rearrest them. They fight you and we immediately kill him like in one hit. So I angered all the pigs that we spent 
all of our wealth allying to get Chonk, and we didn't end up with him because I, I accidentally... Um, I couldn't wait five seconds, and I, and I accidentally uh, undrafted before I meant to and killed him. So, yep. Yep, the clips of that are in the Discord and the Clips channel. Cool TV sounds as well. I don't think I've used the other TVs. Are they different between the TVs? I've used the, like, the basic TV. Yeah. Heard those noises. What's going, Trisha? Finally. So, we are uh, currently, like I said, working on these walls. Raids are, I think it was about 450 raid points. So, we can definitely get things like sieges and mech clusters um, already. Preachers and sappers. It's it's a scary time. Now when I do that, I'm going to be so careful. Yeah, yeah. It's really ridiculous because I was honestly just trying to save 25 wood in about five seconds of time. That's why I did it. So I lost a really good pawn. You know, and I and for nothing. Like, we, we also angered the pigs for nothing and lost a really good pawn. Because I wanted to save 25 wood. Why? Why? Look at all this wood. And I wanted to save five seconds of time. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But oh well. Past Adam. Past Adam screws a lot of things up. It really makes my life hard. Do you need anything more than base TV? No, you don't really need it. Only one makes you happy. That's right. Feels bad, man. Chair wouldn't have made that mistake. Chair would have not done anything. Chair is a pacifist. Not a pacifist. They're a beyond pacifist. What would you call that? Chair is the most easygoing RimWorld player of all time. Chair is just like, hey man, let's let it happen. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Namaste, bro. Namaste. <laughs> Crap is that. Passive-ist. Right. So I have a pacifist there. Passive-ist. Data drone hack. Let's see if we can do it. See where it lands. We might, if it's in a bad spot, we might just let them destroy it to get a new quest. Yeah, yeah, I just finished that on my first attempt. Isn't that crazy? It's going out. Rick. Next challenge run. Chair run. All right, we're going to accept it. Oh my God, why is it so close? Uh-oh. Fossil run absolutely destroyed. That's right. That's right. <sighs> Why do I have open areas in the walls? Those are where doors are going to go. Those are where doors will be eventually. Chair rolls in the punches. So we are going to have to kill the first one, yeah. Give them a fair chance. To... Yeah, that's where the, the doors will go. We need a lot of doors in this one because of the nature of the melee business. Range ridiculous in California right now. Yeah, I've been hearing about that. I don't know it firsthand like you do, of course. All right, the space drone raid. Let's see. Ah, we got this one. We got this. Look at these guys. Four tribals. Chonk a door. Chonk was a door, yeah. Adorable. Observed of the last run. That's right. Between those, so they can't both hit. the doctor we do you need a doctor jogger quick sleeper is awesome don't minor let's we'll grab him we'll grab him No, 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 no. Ten without medicine, please. 
We'll never do doctoring. Nice, excellent. Nine hours on that one. That one we can just run in. Uh, we cut off their arm. Man, we're just cutting people apart. And they're dead. We're so strong. I'm going to have to stop doing it that way. So this one we could take as a slave doctor. They can they get better at plants. They can get better at plants. All right. Okay, furniture we're going to throw. Um you know what, Lumberjack? We'll just put you in here for right now. You're not going to be happy with it, but, you know, that's what I got to do. They can cook, yeah, and Lumberjack is our cook right now, but... Have some maces ready. Maces with extra melee damage are going to do the same thing. So, mace damage, uh, blunt damage, when it hits, if it destroys a part, it radiates into the next part, too. So, what that means, if, if, if a mace, like, destroys a hand, it's going to also damage into the arm and maybe destroy both. But it's, it's not necessarily weapon related in this case is because we're such strong melee people yeah we could try to get their lungs instead actually i think i'm going to use them to get blim's lungs to be quite honest Sorry, Blim. Uh, you wanted them with arms, Sky God? Arms? Sorry, no can do. Oh my god, I hope we get a sunblocker at some point. Hopefully we get a sunblocker at some point. Alright, we are going to go into temperature and finally get some heat down in here. Means we're going to need more steel. Okay. Why do I want lungs? Because I need to replace these two real lungs. You run, you missed a lot. There was a lot that happened yesterday, yeah. I need to replace the ambassador. Uh, our modest fellowship Another expands. space drone hack. Raid Breaks already. Three. Major break. All right, Christopher, you're going to have to deal with this one yourself, okay? Lumberjack needs to rest. All right. Was there another person with the lungs? They're dead. Christopher, don't lose anything important, all right? Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Okay. All right. Uh, Secret Zero, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Min, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, Min. Secret Zero, thank you again for the Twitch Prime. And Nits, I'm going with this time. Thank you for the four months. Thank you, guys. All right. They can walk already, I think. Let's check. Yeah, they can walk. Okay. Alrighty. Off map some locker now impossible. No, it's not. It's only impossible if you already have darkness. So that would be that would be ideal, yeah. That's what I'd like to wait on, but yeah. we shall see. We shall see. Alright, lumberjack, get back on this. Guess just unlucky. Yeah, you just you just never know. There's so many different off-map problem causers that there can be, you know, to get a specific one that you want is or can be really rare, but uh, I think you min. You don't understand how it's supposed to tell you got there from you. As long as you click the link. The link is a tracking link. So if you click the link and you sign up through the link, that's how it knows. Um Yeah, that one's dead. Yeah, we might grab another one for lungs. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, three-star quest of raiders. No, I'm not gonna do that. How many streams have I played this run? This is the second stream. 
Surround besides melee only. Excellent, should run. Excellent, should run. Uh, Tara, they were the three months. Thank you, Tara. Much appreciated. Okay. Another ship raid. Just to split this way, grab that guy. Fast learner, medical crafting plants. Off his hand. We can give him a field hand eventually. Uh, how long until dead? Hours. It's great. We'll grab that one too. We can. The brain scale with rate points. They get bigger and bigger over time. Uh, I think they do scale with rate points too, though. Can view the Winston Waves runs? Not right now. Unless you're at my house and watch them on my hard drive. That's about it right now. But I, I think the. Um, Wait, are you talking about the hacking ship or are you talking about the end game ship? Because that's, yeah, that's different things. So this one we are going to enslave. Go on, Tetrium, welcome in. This one would be a great, great one. Always replace the hands, not a big deal. This one I think we'll get the lungs from. So can you walk yet? Not not quite. Not quite. Um Group went to ways watch party at my house. No, no, no. Good luck, Zorfus. Galio, welcome back. How's the run going? It's been crazy. Captives, welcome in. Why tip? How many runs are you past the mostly honorable dwarves? Uh, two. 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 Yeah, we can make them a hand yet. Yeah. The crappy one. What's better for killing? Zeus hammer or mono sword? Depends on the enemy. Depends on the enemy. Just get whichever one you ha you have access to the highest quality, especially if a master worker higher, but blueberry pancakes. I made myself like a hamburger bowl, basically. So some lean ground beef um, browned with like salt, pepper, cayenne, some other stuff with some chopped up onions in there and uh, add it with some, some uh, steak sauce mixed in a little bit and then some cheese. It was good. It was good. For breakfast, yep. Yeah. Try to get as much protein in the morning as I can so I don't have to eat again. So I don't get hungry during the stream. Psychic drone. Major breakdown. I know, Lumberjack. I know. Not much we can do about it, man. Especially with the drone. Why make them a slave and not a colonist? I cannot make them a colonist. It's part of the run. Exhalation run. I cannot make them a colonist. I cannot have another colonist for two years now because of how the run is set up. Exclamation run should explain more. I think that's going to be the most asked question this run. Every run we have something that's asked a whole lot. 
And yesterday, every time I made someone a slave, I was like, wait, why are you making them a slave? Wait, why do you have slaves? Do they buff slaves? <laughs> I understand that's going to get asked a lot, too. It's not, it's not a huge deal, but it is, it is kind of funny. Uh, it's the new singularity question. It's the new, is it a wall question? Yeah. Are slaves walls? Well, slaves, do you start in the mono sword? No, I got to have ancient danger and it's an awful one. How is it awful? It's just, it literally is awful. Awful persona mono sword from the ancient danger on the map. I cannot use ranged weapons. No, not even my slaves. Uh, oh, that's right. They are, uh, they are psychically deaf. My bad. Drone doesn't really matter. He's upset for other reasons. Someone clipped it yesterday. Does anyone have the clip of the jeans from yesterday so I can just add it to the bot? Our wall slaves are calling us. You know, you get awful persona weapons, yeah. yeah. Tally of how many times they say exclamation run. <laughs> Alright, Lumberjack, let's go finish this. Rituals not get pawns that can be colonist. No. No, we have it set up that it doesn't. What kind of shuttle is that above our base? That is from ideology. It's for a relic quest. Yeah, I think it may Yeah, Zidian, Zidian, thank you. Um R Square, do you remember how to add commands? Because that's on a different monitor from me. Different computer. Oh, another one. Okay. Short word, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you, short word. Greatly appreciated. Oh my god, I forgot how long that takes. Alright, we finished the first part of our first relic quest. Very nice, very nice. How much damage does Lumberjack Sword do? It's actually less DPS. So you got to remember, this shows their melee DPS um, based on all their stuff, right? So right now, his melee DPS is 15.54. Christopher, on the other hand, who has a long sword, 20.76. What are our relics? Persona weapons. Persona weapons. Okay, can you walk yet? Uh, yes, you can. Can you walk yet? Yes, you can. Care about converting them this run uh yeah i do i have been converting them i should probably do that to these ones i would like to get the lungs done so that's why i was going to but yeah we should just do it we should just do it this one we don't because we're just going to try to get the lungs off of him okay yeah i have been i have been converting them
Okay, uh, seed isn't updated. This isn't, this actually ended up being a good seed, but it was just a random map I grabbed. This would've been a great map if we were doing side casting, but we're not. So it's kind of unfortunate. Good Ozzy. I will have to add the seed though. Uh, this would be a great seed to play like a normal game on. All right, we're gonna put these up a little bit. There we go. Actually, I want you to add, uh, someone has the um, clip of our genes. So let me delete the old command. Actually, I'm already in this. Someone just wanna repost the gene link. Thank you. I'll just do it. I'm already minimized now. No worries. It's not you, it's me. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Thank you. It was really quick, so. Excision gene should work now. There we go. There we go. Fun mage. Ray, welcome in. Funny growing devil strand and make clothing or growing drugs. Better subjective, but dr drugs, basically. Drugs are way faster, way lighter overall. Drugs. <laughs> drugs is the answer, but it's a little subjective. Well, we're working on re-allying the pigs. This will definitely help. There's a pig settlement really close by. We'll probably send Christopher over there. Um, Yeah, let's just send him. Let's just go ahead and send him. No, I did. I did, but then I ended up sanding myself. Shredded chicken taco bowl, roasted corn salsa, cilantro, lime, sour cream. All right, we're going to go re-ally these guys. I'm going to send Christopher off. Uh, we're going to take all this leather we got. A little bit of the psychite tea. Smoke leaf. It's not going to be enough to ally them, but... There we go. Hit the road, Christopher. Don't get ambushed, all right? Should not say that. You should never say that. You're hoping you were losing it. Going no facts. Welcome in. Session, Ray. I said Ray. Silencer. Welcome in. Christopher hitting the road, hitting the road. Price is a belief. Okay. That's good for us now. He's really close to converting. Give them the meat of their fallen as a gift. Ah, it's not it's not their meat. It's just some tribal meat. Ah, they're pigs, they don't care. Oh, we didn't we've had that psychoid leaf for so long. Wait, no, no, no. I wanna Yeah, I, de I definitely want to do this forever. Not forever. Uh, man, I wish I could prioritize that. I want to turn the rest into it right now. Melee only. A new melee run. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead and use that. Melee only. It started yesterday. Yesterday was really crazy, too. We almost lost several times. There were some, there were some pretty nutty mo moments yesterday. But the VOD's on YouTube. Uh, it, I mean, excuse me. The VOD is on Twitch. It'll eventually be on YouTube. Yeah. Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. All right, offer a gift. Fifty-two, not quite there. Not quite there, almost though. Almost. We need forty more. Gonna be using some cheesy tactics like corner punch. No, no, I'm not gonna use corner punch. 
I might as well not do this run if I'm gonna use corner punch. I did a I did a run where I allowed myself to use exploits, and we beat everything in the game with naked, blind, scarred people. No. Not corner punch. <laughs> I mean play however you want, but I think playing with only corner punch is kinda of boring because you can literally just beat everything. Hmm. There's a typo in the in the I don't think you. There we go. I was changing it really fast this morning. Or yesterday, and then I copied and pasted it. Exclamation Tade! All right. Rope that muffalo. Okay. All right. Blind nude scarred without cheese. Uh, I think it would be possible if I relied a lot on uh, Psycast again. Add for that new Scooby Doo. But they don't have Scooby. Uh, I haven't seen that. Well, I mean, I, I saw information about that, obviously, when it was first announced. I haven't seen ads for it. Crystal got home and overdosed. Way to go, Christopher. Way to go. Why did I take off the foreign handling? Because I actually don't want him to, like, shear the muffalo and stuff. I don't care about it. I put him on handling to bring it home, but I'd rather him go research or something instead. I could technically, like, just put research up to three and then on four instead. Down. I don't have to change it in the future. But he he will never deal with animals that way anyway. I mean, I guess I can just do it like that. But Bloodthirsty Wreck. You have intercepted a distress signal on a hostile shuttle carrying a single phase master and three thralls. Trouble with its engines. You can use the signals to draw them. We don't, we're not going to do single phase this run. So I would only be doing this to kill them. And it's possible they, there could be some good slave ones, but even if we enslave them, Robin is back, yeah, maybe. Even if we enslave them, they're gonna need blood, so. But the thralls could, there could be some good, uh, there could, there could be some good pawns as thralls, so. Full organ harvest, we'll get rid of them too, yeah. It could be good to um, raise medical on, just continuously try to pull organs. We'll see. We'll see where they land. What? Adam? What am I doing here? The coven of cannibalism. Fast learner is nice. Careful shooter don't like. Look at that crafting. Look at that crafting. Trigger happy doesn't really help us in this one. An ADAD. ADAD. There's the single fish. That's a lot of risk for very little reward. We're strong, but we don't have armor yet, so they have some really good guns. So I think I'm just going to say you guys can stay in that corner. Kill him! Kill him! Seven animals, you make caravan. Are they going to degrade? I've never tested that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like if you just leave it on there forever. Here they come. So let's let them get closer. Which one's a single phage? A dad there, I think. So we're gonna take him and get all of his organs. So let's move this over to medical prisoner. Capture them. And I guess we have some guns to sell now. There could be only one. There could be zero, I guess. 
He's unwavering, yeah. So we can recruit him even if we wanted to, which is fine. We don't want Welcome to. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. All right, some medical experiment. There. I already answered the animal thing. How do you deal with doomsdays and rockets? Uh, chill belts, rush them, and pray. <laughs> it's going to be one of our big things that we're going to have to overcome. So, obviously, we're too early in the game to worry about it right now. So that's a problem for future us. We're just gonna we're just gonna ignore that. Pretend that doomsdays don't exist until they do exist. Uh, Crow, they were the four months. Thank you, Crow. But for now, ah, they just don't exist. We don't believe in them, so they don't exist. I still need lungs. Yes, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up pulling lungs. That's one of the reasons I took this guy. Whoops. To get his organs. Yeah, let's get that done. <laughs> Train animals work well. Yeah, but I don't know that I'm going to go that route because I used so many animals in my first melee run and that was one of the reasons why we were able to win, you know? I'm not sure I'm going to do it this time. Future Adam, do you feel frustration or hate for past Adam? Ah, uh, you know what? He was doing his best. Yeah, you know? His best wasn't very good, to be honest, but I'm way better than past Adam. But you know what? For his, uh, He was good in his time, yeah. Full segment will be in the YouTube episode. Mark your words. <laughs> Blim, I know you're asleep and you're unhappy, but you are our servant and you will mine with your one arm until it is done. What's what's the mining equivalent of rip and tear? Rip and tear, rip and tear. Kraken. No, it sounds like Kraken. Crack has to come next. Don't know. Because of the past, Adam, you are who you are today. That's right. That jerk. No. <laughs> who even remembers Chonk? I don't know what you're talking about. Chonk? Who's that? Can't place it. Dig and dug, dig and dug until it is mined. Dig and dug. Melee Run was directed to your old melee only videos. Yeah, the old one is really hard because it was before ideology and before biotech, so I think it's going to end up being way harder than this one. Uh, it's still the hardest run I've ever done by quite a bit. But now we are we are doing it a completely different way, obviously. Dig and delve. Dig and delve. Am I going to turn slave into a mechanator? Probably not. He has a gastro analyzer, huh? What did I do this time? Oh, the cats watch the stream. Nice. Waffle Cat. What's Waffle Cat's name? I hope it's Waffle Cat. So no side cast just to add to the challenge. Let's to add to the challenge, yep. Yep. Just add to the challenge. Involuntary death rest. Oh no. Lumberjack just has a dead well not quite dead. An undead guy just sleeping next to his bed. <laughs> Ah, it's fine. You get used to it, you know? You get used to it. Lucy? Lucy. Lumberjack's fiance? So let it go. Let it go, Lumberjack. I never saw her. Did you guys see her? I didn't even know Lumberjack had a fiance. I still don't know. I still didn't know. No one knew. 
It's not true. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. People without making your own drugs only get them through trade and raids. I don't know. It'd be more annoying to do it. Beyonce, no more. Soon to be ex-fiance, bleeding out in five hours. Sad but true. Sad but true. See how these guys are doing. The true way. The true way. The true way. Uh, convert. That one we're going to try to rip out some organs, so. Uh, we can start experimenting on ripping this guy's organs out. So let's just do... I mean, what is your medical at these days? It's at four, you know? It's it's getting there, kind of. Kind of getting there. Uh, harvest left lung. Harvest right lung. Okay. All right. The melee godhood. He's beyond such paltry things as a fiance. <laughs> Honey, I don't think this is working out. We're like a clean colony here, and you're just bleeding everywhere. Unless you can get that blood back in, we're gonna have a problem. A mad boom rat, uh oh. <laughs> he got a little bird on his toe. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the yeah, I'm gonna take everything, honestly. I'm gonna take all the things. Oh, we don't have any herbal medicine left. Okay. Don't have any herbal medicine. We only have glitter world. I don't want to waste it on that guy. We're growing some finally, but it's going to take a while. It takes a while to get someone high enough planting to grow it. Mm, yeah, we'll grow some more. What do you think of Hollow Knight? I've enjoyed it so far. Yeah, it's been fun. Air apparel is better than being naked. Yeah, I think so. He's going to stay death resting forever. When we after we take his organs. <laughs> Have any issues today? You have audio, but the video is frozen for you. I don't know. Twitch has been having a lot of issues over the last week or two. No, I haven't given uh, Blim a peg leg yet. 469 raid, preparing for a while. Okay, it is split. We got six on that side and three on this side. Um, we need to go take care. The walls aren't done. We're going to go take care of one side. Where is the shotgun? Shotgun is there. That's the most scary. All right. Twitch is glitching out for you today, too. Let me make sure it's not on my end. Connection, stable, drop frames, zero. It seems to be on Twitch's end. And I guess maybe fortunately. Hey, go juice. Get it from him. Crap. Major break on Lumberjack.
Um, there's one gun. Okay. So we're gonna melee block this one. So no, no, I can't. I can't do that one. Where do we want to melee block? Uh, let's melee block here. Blim, go open that door. Yeah, it's been off for a sequel or something. Yeah, I don't want to look at anything about it just in case, of course, but it's gonna be scary if uh, Lumberjack has a breakdown. That is one green Chewbacca. He is some bright green. Look at that. Look at that. My fiance died. 30 days. Oh, man. You know what? I should have maybe just gotten him and sold him into slavery. <laughs> What's with all the asthma in this run? I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot. All right, here we go. Did you kill three or four of them? Hey, Master Crixus. <laughs> Thanks for watching on YouTube. Thanks for coming in. Oh! Oh! Yeah, one at a time, one at a time. That's what we like to see. Prisoner with asthma, does that transfer asthma to its owner? I've never tried that, yeah. I don't think, I think they're destroyed, yeah. I don't think you can actually take them out as an item. You can't harvest, yeah, yeah. So I think it's just destroyed. You can remove them, but it doesn't produce an item. That's right. All right. So, I need to do one of these festivals. Aren't you guys close to... You're pretty close. Those two are pretty close. Blim, clean our house up. There's a break on Lumberjack. Uh, let's go ahead and do one of these. Hopefully we get the mood boost. Maybe we get someone we can enslave faster. Ugh. <sighs> One lost their head. Yeah, we decapitated them a little bit. A little bit. Come on. Hey! Oh, did I forget to... No, no, no. That's a different thing. Uh, it was a beautiful one. Very nice. We got some friendly visitors. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to anger them. You, my friend, are rated E for excellent. Why is the east so close to the wall? Because it doesn't really matter. The only reason this is going out so far is because I'm protecting the plants. Why does this festival hold holding a log? Because that's what they make the lanterns out of. A log. A log. That's one snip. Lish! Tier 2. Eight months. That's like 16 months. It's almost a calendar, full calendar year. Thank you, Lish. Very much appreciated. Much love to the Lish. Where's Chonk? I don't know who you're talking about. Chonk who? Chonk. That's... Yeah, no one knows what you're talking about. Chonk? I've definitely never known of any pig person named Chonk. Wait, why'd you say pig person then? Just, I was just assuming. Got no pause challenge mod. Wish you luck. Hey, good luck, Rap. Let me know how your first no pause run goes. I really enjoy it. That's the way I like to play, but... What's a chunk? Not much. What's a chunk with you? Uh, Neutramine is still uncraftable. Yes, without a mod yet. So we're going to uh, spread these festivals out to get the uh, advantage of having the mood buff. We're good. Did I finish the previous run? I did, yep. 
yep, yep. Last Saturday? Last Saturday? A gift! Oh, 290 silver, nice. Sorry, mage, sorry. It is fun, though. Paint here base, add wealth. Uh, the actual paint doesn't. It doesn't add beauty either, though. It's just for fun. Alright. So right now, we are uh, working on finishing up that wall. Working on finishing the wall and, uh, yeah. Wait. When a banner is about to break, is it more efficient to speed up their break or focus on something else? Oh, do you mean like a group of units, not a banner? A banner is an equipable item. So why is there meaning like when they have a group of units, some of the units and they're getting close to like no leadership, is it better to try to break that leadership or not? Is that what you're asking? You can build a spaceship, but not medical supplies. What are the other sticks for this run? Exclamation run. Exclamation run will tell you. Uh, so why is this? Generally, yes, if you can. So if you're noticing one of their uh, groups is getting low on leadership and you have like a chariot or, uh, you know, cav or a monster or something, and you can crash it into them, especially from the flank and have them break, it's usually worth doing. Because depending on the faction, if they break, they're just going to run away and then you can focus those units on someone else or on a different one. Um, if it's vampires or if they're demons or something like that, they're just going to start degrading and just losing HP constantly. So usually it is worth trying to get them to break. Now that changes a little bit on legendary difficulty. So if you're playing on legendary, it'll be a little bit different because uh, it's going to be harder to break a lot of things because they get a bonus to their leadership. Only the raw materials do, yeah, and the, um, the Tinctoria plant isn't worth a lot anyway, so, yeah, you don't really have to worry too much about wealth when it comes to Tinctoria and paints. Like, maybe if you're stockpiling, like, tens of thousands of them or something, which is why you're doing that, but, um, yeah, I wouldn't worry about wealth when it comes to the Tinctoria plant, even on 500%, yeah. vampire and demons yeah yeah and they're asking a question about warhammer yeah warhammer is the other kind of main game on the stream right now uh total war warhammer 3 and play hardest difficulty no pause of that as well on uh wednesdays and thursdays yeah no problem wisest yeah so it's it's going to depend but uh yeah a lot of times and you'll notice like wisest if in warhammer if you look at the information for the unit it'll say what their base leadership is and so it might be more beneficial to try to break those with lower starting leadership so, for instance, like trolls. Trolls have really low uh, leadership. So, it might be uh, good for you to try to break that quickly so they don't get a lot of damage in. Whereas, like, if you're playing against dwarves and you're trying to break in, um, you know, iron breakers or something, good friggin' luck. You're not going to do it. Not even, like... So, anyway. Yeah, as with a lot of things in those games, the answer is generally it depends. But it is good to break their leadership. Yeah, absolutely. Warhammer gambles are very fun. Yeah, I, uh, you know what? It's very nice. Um, I know Warhammer is not going to be as popular on my stream as as Rimworld, but I do enjoy playing it. And we're doing a, a big, long series of it right now on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And I actually had some people come in yesterday and was like, hey, man, where are you going to be playing Warhammer again? I really I'm really looking forward to watching more Warhammer on the stream. So that felt pretty nice. I hardly ever get anyone coming in the stream and asking about anything other than Rimworld, which is, is fine. It's fine. You know, I don't mean it in a negative way, but it was uh, it was it was nice. It was nice. I see someone ask. So, anyway, Warhammer back on Wednesday, Thursday. The hours of Warhammer, I still have literally no idea what's happening. Uh, I start a brand new run of it on Wednesday, and I'll do my best to explain what's going on as I'm playing. Rimworld win. 
Watch you now. Fun time. It's awesome, yeah. Hey, man, we're going to play Dream Daddy again. <laughs> All right. Certainty is dropping. Social fight with the prisoners. It's fine. Casket insulted dragon's way of walking. I don't like the way you walk. This isn't a Dream Daddy stream? It is, because I'm here. No. Uh, I think I have a command. Hang on. Let me. I don't know which button. And I've hardly ever used it. Let me go through some buttons here. Fetching, fatherly, and fabulous. First try. First try, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's an evening stream to mage, so greed fall win. First try. Fetching, fatherly, and fabulous. I didn't know which button it was. <laughs> that was just luck. Just luck. Another gift. Go to real medicine, nice. Nice. A tattoo in a dream. Wait, wait. Did you really have a dream where I attacked you? <laughs> no, no. I don't want anyone to call me that. No. Please, no. But I'd rather replay Dream Daddy or Greedenfall. Dream Daddy. Yeah, 100%. Dream Daddy was actually a good game. I will if you want. No, no, no. <laughs> Please, no. Working on the wall. Working on the wall. You're just making it funny, all right. I was curious. A couple of people have had uh, told me about dreams of the stream, so. All right. Uh, what do we want to grab? That's off this. Um, we got microelectronics. We need to get xenogenetics going at some point. But let's grab some. Um... Uh, you know what? Let's let's knock out double strand. Can I have cocaine money? No. You already got your allowed cocaine money for the week. Do I like dead cells? Yeah, dead cells is good. I played a lot of dead cells. I didn't I didn't go back and do the um, DLCs, unfortunately, but I did play a lot of dead cells when it was new. Armor, we'll get to armor too for sure, yeah. Do my pawns mind paste? They do mind paste. They're not transhumanist. Inversion! Okay, dragon is converted. Which one were you? They're the ones we're going to have rip out organs, so we're going to enslave them. Deck in MTG. That's pretty good. <laughs> Only for survival meals? I don't know what you mean. Goju Spency is awesome. Eh. <laughs> it's got its problems, of course, but... Man, oh man, it was rough. Yesterday, I really thought we had lost. Even Smurf in the chat yesterday was like, well, it looks like Adam's going to be uh, finishing this run up here pretty soon. He's going to be... Oh, oh, which research? I got you. are talking about... That. I thought you were talking about the actual meals. Um, Yeah. I mean, you start with nutrient paste as this, you know, so... I didn't, you start with it, so I didn't research it, but Crash Landed starts with it, and so does uh, uh, so does Rich Explorer and such. That's why I unlocked it. I it's you just start with it unlocked, so. I guess they, and you called the run over as well. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Creative ways to make the game even harder and still beat it. <laughs> Uh, this was just a fun run, man. Just fun. How's it going, Gurkin? Pumping out those meals. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense if we start with Gojuice research. Yeah, but I didn't want. I didn't want to do it. I wanted it to. I wanted it to just be difficult. Uh, all right, so we have enslaved a dragon. 
Enslaved dragon. Uh, Alright, so... Dragon is going to be doing all the doctoring. And is going to be doing cooking now. Growing. Block cutting. There you go, dragon. You are an excellent slave. Way to go, dragon. Full, of, full of healthy, too. Look at you. Look at you. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, this guy's back up. We end up getting enough for this. I don't think so. I don't think so. Dragon, uh, let's have you go grab this. Actually, you're not as good at plants. Um, we have more manipulation. Yeah, we'll have you grab it. Then. For the game, then five. No passions run would be. I want to do an incapable of violence run, and I want to do an all explosions run. I think both of those will be fun and difficult. I think all explosions will be act actually chaos. Imagine having to fight raids with just frag grenades. <laughs> I think that'll be nuts. So I think I'm going to do an all explosions run, and I might do it next because it just sounds silly. I'm not even sure we could... Imagine trying to do ship launch events or something while just throwing, throwing grenades. <laughs> 20 pawns throwing frag grenades. Uh, there would be no corpses left. There would be no prisoners, that's for sure. If we downed anyone, they would be gone. Uh, harvest botched. Capable of violence, like use Mechanitor and turrets. Mm, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not the mechs. That might make it too easy. We'll see. Losing Chonk is really silly. Yeah, <laughs> it was. I mean, who's Chonk? I don't know. You keep saying that name. I don't know. Here we go, we gonna get a lung. Hey, we got one. Nice. Hey, no drugs, you're a slave. Slaves don't get drugs. Be loud, I think Psycast only would be possible. Yeah, uh, Psycast with animals would definitely be possible, yeah. All Psycast might, might be, might be. What happened to the No Walls run? I finished it last Saturday. Yeah. That one is done, brains. Can vampires die to infection? No. Vampires can only die from having their brain destroyed. That's literally the only thing. In the previous run, we had a vampire that had all of his body destroyed aside from his head and his torso laying in the mud for like four and a half years or something. And he didn't die. We're overproducing rice. That's all right. All right, major break on Lumberjack still. Lumberjack, when are you going to be over your dead fiance? Never. No priest of pain. This is a tricky thing here. If I make a priest, we get rid of the minus five, but then the person has higher expectations. That person, it's, it's not going to even out for them, but it's going to help everyone else. Um, social eight. All right, Christopher. We're making you into the priest. The priest of pain. Drink in lifesteal gear early on. Yes. Yeah. On. So you're on your starter. Did you pick kale? Uh, as for the daily reward, you're going to end up getting a lifesteal set. I would, I would use his, uh, the four piece set from lifesteal. And then whatever the best stuff you have outside of that is for the rest of it. I can give you some more advice for it. Or uh, or you can check. The best thing, Mage, will be able to get the boots. Boots with uh, main stats. Speed. As high star as you can. Rarity doesn't matter. As high star as you can. Speed boots. And then four piece of lifesteal. Is uh, is like the good starter stuff. Yeah, That will, that will help you a lot. Alright, we're going to make you... Ensue. Hey, right, we got the other lung. The priest of pain. 
dragon's gonna watch. Here we go. Now people know of you in real life, priesthood. Thanks, brains. Brains. The boots with the fur. There we go, we got a priest, which means we can try to make Lumberjack forget. So we're gonna counsel Lumberjack, and we're gonna hope this uh, works and that he forgets about his fiance. Lumberjack, you never had a fiance. He knows better, he's now upset. <laughs> well, that did not work out, so. 2,000 hours in world, never played with slaves. Can you explain the slave mechanic in a few words? Slaves? are less raid points. You don't have to worry about them dying as much and you don't have to worry about their happiness as much, but they can rebel against you. So they are basically worse pawns that are happier and cause less raid points, pretty much. Exclamation genes, exclamation genes. All right, we'll try that again on cooldown. Major break. He's probably going to have that breakdown. Most likely. All right. Uh, we got Devil Strand done. Now we are going to grab Smithing. More spawns, but you can have more of them. Yeah, pretty much. Look, I just became a priest. I know what's best for you. Forget about that person you devoted your life to. What? I'll kill you. Now, now. Going, Jerem. All right, we got two people that are planting now, so we can probably increase the impressiveness of this room. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and plant um, uh, day lilies. Day lilies can grow off just torch or, you know, normal lamp light. They don't take full light, and it's going to increase the beauty of the room. The beauty here stat. So hopefully we get at least a mood buff from Lumberjack standing in here researching all day. Wall is almost done. Then we'll work on the doors to it. We'll probably use stone doors for now because uh, they have more HP even though they're going to open more slowly. So it's uh kind of sucks to do it, but you know. Uh, we'll wait on the limestone. Wait on the limestone. Why so many doors this time? So one of the things we're going to do, one of the strategies, is to let some raids come and beat on the walls. And as they divide up to beat on the walls, we're going to run out different doors and, like, fight little groups at a time. So let's say a big raid of, like, 50 people show up. Well, they're going to spread out around the walls, right? And so there might be a pocket where there's like three of them. So we're going to run out that door. We're going to kill those three and we're going to run back inside. And then all the other raiders are going to be like, hey, what's going on over there? And they're going to come to that side and they're going to spread back out. So that is our main plan for killing with only these two people. Uh, bigger raids for quite some time because it's going to be a long time. Scooby-Doo strategies. <laughs> it's going to be a long time before we have another pawn, a real pawn that can fight, so... I mean, we do have some uh, meat shields, but the slaves are not allowed to have weapons in our, in our run, I should say. First of having a food binge. Hopefully he's over that by the time we get a new raid. Sun door is super slow to open and close, though. I literally just went over that. I said that even though they're much slower, we're probably going to do stone doors for now because we need the HP from it. So, yeah, I, 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 you might have just came in, so no, no big deal. But yes, they are slower. But also, if I use steel or wood, both of those are burn, uh, able to be burned. And when the uh, raiders go and attack it, they're going to break through sooner. So, um,. Obviously, later on, I would love to have uranium or plastic or something like that, but we don't have that material at the moment. So I'm using the highest HP non-flammable uh, material that I have 
Oh yeah, no worries. I know people are coming in all the time, so. Door crating from last game. You weren't able to use doors last game, so now you're gonna use double the doors, triple the doors. It's a little true, it's a little true. There's some truth in there. Some truth to it. Doors or walls? How do I have a monster already? It's from an ancient danger, and it's an awful quality one. It's actually less DPS than a long sword, because it's awful. <laughs> oh, you know what? Should we already have kill thirst done? So we can have him go kill something from mood increase. Over Jack. There's gotta be something nearby. Probably, probably not the boom rat. Probably. Probably. Ah, screw it. What's the worst gonna happen? We need that. Oh, a turkey. Nice, done. There we go. Mood increase. Nice. Nice. Terror bringer kill happiness. Okay. Opening Ancient Danger as soon as you find it, or should you open it only when you're equipped enough to fight what's in it? I usually wait until I'm equipped enough because I don't want the extra wealth. On 500%, I don't want the extra wealth early, but if there's good stuff inside and you can handle it early, it could give you um, a big leap forward, right? But if you open it and it's not stuff you really need and there's like 200 gold off of the bodies and stuff like that, suddenly your wealth skyrockets. You know, you get an Arcotech item that you can't use yet or something like that, and the next raid just kills you. So it's really a balancing act, but if you're not playing on super high difficulties, then opening it is, yeah, as soon as possible is, is, um, uh, is great. Um, I, I usually, I usually wait. In this run, I had to open it early or else we were going to lose. Like, we were actually dying without go juice, and I had to open it to see if any of the, the ancients inside were addicted to go juice, so. <laughs> By the way, Cam rooms out of only doors mess up the ai um no not really you can do it like that and then they'll just go out of the shortest path it's kind of takes a lot more material a lot more wealth but a wall made out of all doors is higher higher wealth higher material cost and less hp but it saves some time on pathing you could absolutely do it for like your interior base where you don't have to worry too much especially late game i do something like this this run Slave Rebellion likely. You guys better not. You'll die. Let's get the rest of the organs off this guy. Well, we can. Actually, I'm going to have uh, my character practice medical on them. So we're going to turn medical off on that slave for now. Now that we got the... Or maybe, maybe we should go ahead and implant them on Lumberjack with a slave. Let's do that. The lumberjack going to install lung left lung install lung right lung all right dragon get up lumberjack lay down whoops see the light level is 50 percent here we go Yeah, they changed how the heat thing with the which one not works. Then being around the weapons makes it uh, it adds a twenty five percent multiplier. Yeah, so we'll have to get rid of those. All right, one long in. Have anyone to sacrifice? Not at the moment. I could sacrifice Otter actually. We were just going to take his lungs. We don't need them anymore. So we'll sacrifice Otter. Once Lumberjack's back up so he can participate. Fun Chef, Bimo, welcome in. Protein Farts, welcome in. Fruit Colonist with 15 plants and he has cataracts in both eyes. Will he be botching a lot of harvests? Uh, if you're always, if you're curious, you can always go in here and you can go to the stat. Um, 
So plant harvest yields. Plant harvest yields. Site is important. It's not the most important. It's only a 20%. So it is going to make them uh, botch more harvests. But it's not maybe as important as, as you might have thought. Um, depending on their other factors. But yeah, you can always come in the information pane and look at this stuff and see exactly what's impacting the stat as a whole and on that pond specifically and get your final number. So go in there and look at look at harvest yields. Uh, so the thing is, BMO, if if you've had an entry into the queue um, on Twitch's side for so long and it shows it as not redeemed, like I haven't done it, Twitch is like, oh, the streamer must have forgotten about that and they'll just refund the points. I don't know what the timer on it. I think it's like 90 days or something. So you might have been in the queue for so long that Twitch is like, all right, well, here's some of your points back for those entries. You just didn't get lucky and get in time. All right, Lumberjack is up. So we are going to do uh, the public execution of Otter. Uh, I guess we can make the altar closet. We might as well do that. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do flooring. Um, piece of wood floor, it's fine. What's the queue do? It, it's to get your name in the game. Integration on Discord to redeem that. Yeah, that'd be nice. All right, so we're going to go in and grab our altar. How's that made? Uh, Granny has been summoned. We'll see what Granny has to say for us today. Type exclamation quote there. I'm going to go with Schlaw. See what Granny has to say. I'll explain the altar closet after I build it. Get in the game, get kidnapped again. It happens, yeah. Rispa almost died right after he got in. Long live the altar closet! Okay. I'm surprised I haven't fixed this, honestly. Really surprised. Blim, chop this tree down, okay? I just chopped like four trees down today. It's fine. Still no quote. No quote. You have to do the exclamation quote. You just summon Granny. It doesn't do it on its own. All right. Let's see here. 53% only. Um, all right, let's give it a try anyway. All right, let me make sure I don't want to keep you, Otter. No. Oh, they're kind also. Okay. Here it goes. How many in-game years are your typical runs? Uh, usually like six to eight. I don't know if this one, this one might be longer. Being tweakier. Yeah, you have to do that. Yeah, I'll explain that part to you. Satisfying execution. Nice. All right, let me explain the altar closet. So when you make your ideology and you get an altar, uh, you see how it has the variation of what it needs there? There are a lot of these. If you keep re-rolling until you get the requirements of it to only be a fully uh, floored room with no beds and no workstations, you can then... Those 5% off of maximum success chances... You can then um, put one of them in a closet to satisfy the needs. So this one is now in a closet with a floor, no workstation, no no beds. And so they don't have the altar, you know, disgraced or whatever. And that allows us to put another altar in a room with beds and workstations. And it will take the snapshot of the quality of that room for any festivals done at this one. So exclamation altar explains it again in, in chat if you want to type exclamation altar. 
Uh, but that's why I have them. Uh, ship launch? Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Executed with killing with kindness. The yeah, yo song. Lumberjack's father, why do you have so many relatives? Oh my god. Were you tribal? Was Lumberjack tribal? Friggin' tribals. Hope so too. I mean, oh, you launched another one. Nice, nice. <laughs> Congrats. Well, uh, what kind of run were you doing this time? I don't remember. Like that. Uh, all you have to do is type exclamation quote. Yeah, that's it. If you want, that's all I gotta do. And gran then Granny will read it. Sometimes you get a good quote. Sometimes not so, not so much. It's from a hillbilly mountain family. So because this one doesn't have faction. They're going to end up joining and then we're going to send them on their way. Going to enslave his father? Yeah, probably. Like my dear old granny used to say, she was always saying this. Hey, get your mind out of the gutter. Granny grew quality produce that she took to the county fair. And they were all they were all really big. Can't believe you'd think anything else. Uh juicer. They were the 300 bits. Thank you, juicer. Uh who did what oh there was a sky god one? Who did the sky god one? Shake. Alright. Commandment 2156. Honey, I'm so excited. I'm finally decked out. I'm decked out as a twink. I got everything you can possibly get to make the most powerful twink. I'm gonna wreck some kids. Uh, I'll take no further questions at this time. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. It's either join, can join or can't join. Will join or won't join. Another granny summon. Come on. All right. What is it? Come on, Raven. Getting in some summons here while we're uh, <laughs> we're waiting on some stuff. A Lydia summon too. Oh my lord. Quote 539. Yes, I shot the kid intentionally, but I did not really thinking it would do anything. I did it not really thinking it would do anything. <sighs> like my dear old granny used to say, she was always saying this. You're this interested in seeing me date an old man? Who else would you date, granny? Why would you date anyone other than old men? Granny is what they call a cougar. Granny, you're a big cat. You're a big cat, Granny. All right, this is off cooldown. We're going to try to counsel Lumberjack again. We're trying to make Lumberjack forget that he had a fiance that died out in the mud. So. Hey, he doesn't even remember. Doesn't even remember. Lumberjack was like, what? I was engaged? People even mention it to Lumberjack now. It's like, hey, Lumberjack, remember when your fiance died face down in the mud and we could have saved her and we just didn't? Lumberjack's like, no, I don't remember that. Ooh. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> All right, nice. That helps a lot. That helps a lot. Snow Leopard. All right. All right. Plate armor's done. Black armor next. 
Uh, we gotta get this stuff traded on off. I'd like to get these wall or the uh, the doors done, but we do that. How many relatives does he have? I don't know. It won't it won't show all of them on this without a mod. He was so upset about her dying, he could have saved her himself. Sorry, they will not disobey Sky God. Are the green guys at works? No, they're melee gods. Adam, isn't that the same thing? You can think of them as orcs if you want. Or hulks. You know, whatever. Melee gods. Will the last round be on Patreon soon? Um... Uh, yes, yes, it will. Yep. I th I think I should have time to start uploading it on Monday, and it'll all go up there at the same time. So it's just it'll be the whims of when YouTube processes it at that stage. But yeah, it, it'll all get set to upload um, on Monday. All right, so we're gonna go into um, doctoring, and I'm going to have Christopher practice some medical stuff here so we're gonna we're gonna harvest like the heart the kidney the kidney and the liver tongue there we go have fun a generous bestowal ah uh, juicer they were 400 more bits thank you juicer very much appreciated did i ever try expeditions rome no i've not played that i'll play that hey juicer like a wife you never met or something probably what's the waves run yeah i really want to get that somewhere i was talking about that this morning on youtube um in the youtube chat actually insulting spree on dragon what you won drop drop the sword Oh, Dragon was insulting Lumberjack's father. All right, medical experience. Nice. Yeah. At least it wasn't his fiance. Oh, he wouldn't have cared about that. He doesn't even remember her. So what's the quality of this room now? Somewhat impressive. Nice. nice. Mood's going the right direction. Got 20 gojus left. Plenty of tea. Doing well on the drugs. So how long in, has it been since Cassandra, whoop, Cassandra attacked? It was like day 72. She only hit once that time. So. She's off cooldown. She like literally just came off cooldown. Welcome back. Your so we're not going to send Christopher out right now. Appreciated. Give me the luck, Juicer. Mind freeze. Three months. Thank you, Mind Freeze. Appreciated. Much appreciated. All right, getting some research done. Very nice, very nice. Um, let's go ahead and just grab advanced lights. Advanced lights, they changed it, so not only does it do color changing lights, but it reduces the power consumption of lights. Mm. Race removes the worst you off. Yeah, if it's a removable one, yep, yeah, yeah. The highest impact one gets removed if it can be removed. Not all of them can be. Like, if, if someone is getting over a drug addiction, you can't be like, hey, you know what? You don't even really want beer, you know? That, that, that one won't get wiped. <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Actually, we're going to give that to the pig people. So... Yeah. All right, we don't need any of your stuff. 
And finish the first VOD, though. Apparently something crazy happened. Yes, several crazy things happened during the first, uh, first episode of this yesterday. We almost lost several times. It's effectively removing it, yeah. So what it does is it gives a buff, a counseling buff, that's the same amount as the negative. So, like, the mi minus 18 is still showing, but then we have a plus 18 that it was canceled. So it effectively cancels each other out, but it will show both, yep. All right, lights are done. We're gonna be using Toxfire Generator. We actually kind of want to start using those pretty early because we get a bonus when we fight in uh, areas that have pollution. So let's just go ahead and knock that out. Knock that out. And we'll need the electricity for all the gene stuff we're going to end up doing anyway, so. We keep an eye out for Archite capsules in this run. Center, Rogue Wind, Adram, Zileper, Arcane. Uh, keep a prisoner caged. Met cluster 2x size of 2 star. No thanks. Not for that. Not for those rewards. We don't have shield belts yet. I don't want to do. I don't have to deal with a met cluster until we have shield belts. Okay. Smobot pop packs might end up being uh, important. Serial material will obviously need at some point. Go ahead and knock out hydroponics. Where's our needed sunblocker quest? I know. I'm. I'm hoping. I'm hoping for it. Okay, first, you kind of legendary already, mage? What? It's from a shard or what? <laughs> that is super lucky. Yeah, you usually don't get them that early. My first one wasn't that early. Except I'll quest this run. No. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, let's uh let's do another festival. You got it from a blue shard, mage. That is incredibly lucky. Yeah, she's actually pretty pretty good, especially for a new account. That's insane. That's like uh what's the percent chance of that? At point five or something? Or wait, it's a double event right now. A one percent chance. Friendly visitors, beautiful festival. Very nice. We get a mood buff for that. We got some gas coming in here. We don't have anything that we want right now. So, yeah, we need to get all these doors done. And then I need to get uh, allied with the pigs. And then I need to get shield belts. Mad Muffalo. One percent right now, yeah, because the double event. Usually practical to maintain without production specialist. Um, honestly, like excellent is gonna be kind of your main. If you don't have any production specialist, you can you can still have a bit of masterwork. You still have a bit of legendary with um, you know, if you're using Psycast and you have the um, um, you know, you're giving inspirations and are getting crafting inspirations or they're very happy in getting crafting inspirations, you can get legendaries and masterwork still quite a bit. But in general, you're going to see a lot more excellence in your run, uh, even with a high crafter, if you're not using production specialist or inspirations. Yeah. Lots of goods and excellence. Masterwork will be the exception, and Welcome legendary will your basically only be from, uh, from inspirations in that kind of run. Yeah, well, that's still an inspiration. Tortured Artist doesn't just make them better, make the pieces better. Tortured Artist um, Breakdown has a 50% chance that after they get Catharsis, they also get a crafting inspiration. 
Um, you can see more about Tortured Artist and how to kind of force that if you want in our traits guide, exclamation traits in the chat, or just go to YouTube and type in uh, RimWorld traits guide and you'll find my traits guide. Yeah, Tortured Artist, but again, that's through inspirations. Goat, hey, it's Goat. What's going on, Goat? You still got that, uh, that legendary chain shotgun with, uh, with the artwork of your character being naked on it, right? Wait, I didn't have that in real life. You didn't? Bring that in. So close, so close. How's it going, Paul? Welcome in. Three doors, four doors, four doors to go. You didn't even have it in real life? What a fail. How will the slaves deal with pollution? I'm going to end up having to get them um, organs for it, or at least masks, yeah. Plan to go high population. It's going to be very hard to go high population. Because we can, we can only... We can we can double our main colonists every 2.2 years. So, 645 raid points now. Ouch. Going to prepare for a while. It's a it's a double hit. Eight melee up there. Five here. It's all melee. Okay. All melee. Uh, raids are getting kind of scary for two people to take care of. How many slaves? I can have as many slaves as we as we want. Yeah, we just got to worry about uprisings. And they can't use. We're making it so slaves can't use weapons. So, no, I don't have our xenotype as the preferred on um on them. So, I could make sure they have gojis before the fights. Yeah, because we have plenty of neutrobean and psychite and stuff like that. So I'll probably do that. So it's going to get lit on fire. But are worth it this run? I thought about it. I really thought about it. I researched it earlier and I really thought about it, especially with Goju's making it so it doesn't slow us down. So it's a, uh, it's a very, it's, it's a big possibility that we will actually use some plate armor. Yeah. All right, here we go. So Christopher, take go juice. Lumberjack, take a go juice. All right. Like 14 Raiders or something. When's the next uh, implant phase? Let's see. 1.4 years. Go juice, go juice. Look at that pile of death there. Looking for tough pawns. Nimble, trigger happy. Anyone there tough? I didn't see any that were tough that are still alive. There's a brawler. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. All right, so we will uh, we'll allow all there. Leave this door open for now. Well, it, it doubles, it doubles. So like, 
every two years. So we started, let's just say you start with two because we could do one right away. So like technically a year two-ish, we could have four, you know, uh, year four, we're going to have eight, you know, and just keeps going from there. But yeah, fast learner is, fast learner is incredible. Yeah. But I'm looking for candidates for the next melee God right now. And I'm, I'm looking for tough only. I mean, other things are important and we might take some other really good pawns, but I'm mainly looking for a tough pawn right now. I don't want more raid points. Like, all melee is the best for us. Like, that kind of raid is actually the best for us because we can just do two-on-one the entire line of them. But imagine if that was 14, like, pirates, you know, with guns, so. Yeah, if we end up doing the Xenotype uh, join, but I don't, I don't want to do that because I think it will undermine a little bit of the theme of this run, you know? I really thought about doing it, but... Now, we are going to try to get to genetics to just be able to make our implant our gene. It's going to be hard because we're going to have to, it's very complex, the 39 complexity. So we're going to have to have a massive gene building and we're going to have to have archite capsules. So if we can get to that, then I think we deserve making as many as we can. Yeah, we could actually have a bad siege. Yeah. So. Yes, yes, fast learner is a gene, but I was talking about just as a trait. Uh, let's just go ahead and knock out sterile material. Plague on the Muffalo. Um, we might want to take the Muffalo away then. To use him before he dies. Or Jack, can you kill these guys for your kill thirst? There you go. It should be enough to ally the pigs, I think. I can double every year? Pretty much, yeah, because we're doing it through gene implanting, and you can do the gene implant. It's got a little over a two-year cooldown on it. We started out with a single pawn, so... Solar Flare. Should show me what all we have. All right, uh, let's go to the world. Christopher, Muffalo. Wait, 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 wait. Was that the first or second hit? That was the first hit. Oh man, we should wait like four and a half days. But then the Muffalo is dead in that time. Oh, I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna take the risk. All right, Christopher. Hopefully you come back to an actual base and not a crater. still naming slaves uh that's right i need to name dragon thank you this will help us get through the queue go fast boots All right, Christopher, get that off the map and let's hope, let's hope Sandra doesn't hit us again before you uh, can get back. Or maybe she'll hit us with pigs. It's a good name. <laughs> Go fast, boots. A mod that makes ritual joins preferred xenotype. Looked it up on Steam Workshop and did not find one. It's called something else. Someone posted it in our Discord, in the Rimworld channel. It's like, um, something like unofficial biotech patch or something and it has lots of options like that can't remember the exact name but it was something like that it wasn't specifically so hmm. 
biofuel ref for, uh, refining. We're gonna need that for drop pods. Come on, Cassander. Be cool. Be cool, Cassander. Actually, something like that, yeah. Patch or update or something. Exclamation run. Very exclamation run. How's it going, boy? Okay. Uh, then I actually do it. Wait, how much do we need? We need 40. So we don't want to over overdo that, so. We need 40. There we go. Enemy now neutral again. So now we can trade them once more. Okay, we're looking for um, shield belt. No shield belt, no low shields. Okay. Um, fine, then we will uh, we'll stop somewhere else and look there. They have a good mono sword. We have nowhere near enough money to get that, though. Not yet. We grab the telescope. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Okay, we'll grab the telescope. And then we're just going to come straight back home. Xenotype spawn control does what the name says, but don't know if that's exactly what they're looking for or not. Quest available. Jagged squirrels. 24 manhunting squirrels would be no problem. We can grab an advanced component off that. There'll be a cataphract put under our control as well. Yeah, that's not a problem at all. We might as well just take it. Let's wait for uh, Christopher to get back here. And we should finish one of those doors before we accept it too. Got PTSD from the last melee run. This one shouldn't be as hard as the last one. Nowhere near as hard as the first one because ideology and biotech didn't exist last time I did a melee run. And uh, we are using that to make this uh, but this is more about having a fun run. Although, we did almost lose yesterday. So, you never know. We had multiple close calls yesterday, so. Maybe it does end up being crazy hard. We'll see. Okay. Wow, we got back just in time. Look at that. The buffalo is uh, about to die right as soon as we get back. Crazy. Uh, biotech, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really crazy. It's giving us so much melee damage. All right, we're going to install the, uh, let's do it this way. We'll remove roof area from this little corner. Buffalo died. Man, oh man, he held out just long enough. That's crazy. Just long enough. Surgery failed. We don't care. It's a vampire. Hey, hey, no, no, no. We care about that. Stop it. Where's that roof area? Held again. Doesn't matter. We're getting experience. What are you up to now? Five. Okay. Wild man wanders in. Okay, research. Uh, let's go ahead and just knock out Xenogenetics. Pyromaniac. Uh, the Muffalo had the plague. The Muffalo had the plague. Medical level six. Nice. Okay, we need uh, a couple more of those doors done, but we can temporarily do it differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, go into structure. I'm going to grab wooden wall. 
And we're just going to put one here and here. I'm going to wait on some more of the surgery for right now. Quest expires. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're working on it. The village device. More information about Fearbringer. Let you visit on priestess tents of worshiping, but they will attack when you touch it. Uh, all right. Where is it? Oh, it's very close by. And it's in an area with pollution. That's going to give us a buff while we're there. Curse makes you want to play Rimworld. You get distracted easily, so you lose pawns and battles when you try to play and watch at the same time. <laughs> All right, let's accept this quest. Let's expand the wall area. Okay, quests. Uh, did I wait too long? No, no, no. Okay, we'll get a free component basically we're gonna wait almost the maximum time because it might align with cassandra well they aligned arrived 22 hours later okay we'll go ahead we'll go ahead now visitors but we control him so we yeah. we can't make him drop that either so i'm not sure what to do about it Leave him here. We don't want him breaking down while he's here, so we're going to put him on um, Triphasic. If you're wondering about Biphasic and Triphasic and why they are so crazy good, I have a guide on that as well. You can type in uh, YouTube. You can type in RimWorld Schedule Guide, or you can just type exclamation SCH in the chat here on Twitch, and I'll take it to, to it. It isn't just about these schedules, but it does cover these as well. Make him melee with a minigun? Yeah, basically. <laughs> so we can control him. We doing that. No drugs for you, my friend. All right, did the festival buff run off yet? Uh, we got two days left. All right. Yeah, I'll have to draft and turn off auto fire yet. Yeah, that's missing on purpose for the squirrel quest. Welcome back. So I'm, I'm going to get Your melee experience from it, basically. I know we can just hold out against the squirrels and just not worry about them. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, we can do it that way. Screw it. Then, then if Cassandra attacks during that, the squirrels will help, so... I think we'll do it that way. That should work. That should work. What happened to Lumberjack's dad? Uh, they 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 uh, got healed and they left, I believe. Wait, wait. Yes. Okay, so that's the wild man. Hey. Hey. What the crap, Justin? He better not have any bullet wounds. It's coming out of your paycheck. Yeah, you're lucky this time, Justin. Freaking Justin. Uh, Sil, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Sil. Much appreciated. You just walked inside? Yeah, because my doors are held open for raids. Yeah. yeah. Freaking Justin. Run invalidated. Alright, nice. Busting this out. 
Bust them down. Uh, let's see. Won't need any of those, I don't think. Could do beer brewing, actually. Well, let's check what most important. Fire foam. Very important for this run. My slaves are getting that open air like free range chickens. That's right. That's right. Most don't tend to wander inside your living room unless they're starving. Yeah, so on like tundra maps or something where the where plants aren't really growing. 800? Is that that's the quest? All right. That's the quest. Okay, I think I have it all set up. We're going to draft and we're going to see if we can pull people out. We can't. So that means we are good. All right, we're good. We are good. 24 squirrels. Top left corner is open. No, it's not. The tree makes it look like it is, but it isn't. That tree playing tricks on us. No, it's good. It's sealed. It's good. Steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. All right, so we'll go ahead and run that up there sometime. Uh, no, I don't want it to cross that way. Cancel that. And the wild human exit? Uh, no, because they're dead. They're dead. In fact, they're a simple meal now. So the only way the wild man is going to exit is through our through our digestive tracts. Um, yeah, I'm using a mod to show the raid points because a lot of people would ask me all the time. So I just decided to use it to show the raid point number. Are you talking about the cataphract guy? Um, yeah, he'll be able to leave because he'll be able to open a door. Garbets haven't watched enough since to build back up. A generous bestowal. A wild lunch. Bell, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, Bell. The original Gordon, 10 months, double digits. Thank you, Gordon. Also appreciate it. Didn't notice and I just say that you're having lunch. <laughs> Are you having wild wild man for lunch? You know what? You should probably even if you are, you probably shouldn't say yes. My legal advice. My legal counsel. Just knock these out, screw it. We're waiting on uh we're waiting on a clock here anyway, so might as well do it. How many manhunting squirrels are we able to defeat IRL? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I don't know about that. Squirrels are kind of vicious, actually. They latch on. I mean, I would come out pretty injured, you know, but I, I could grab a few and chunk them. We'll get prosthetics too, yeah. We're just going to get through a lot of the stuff. 15 to 20. I don't know, man. Okay, insects out there. Inversion. All right, this guy's converted. Um, we're gonna use him to help with plants. So, time to enslave. Don't me for legal advice. Not actual legal advice. One to five. You know the size of squirrel. That's true too. We're talking about like infant, infant <laughs> baby squirrels. And if they go for the nuts or not. 
Slave Rebellion, likely. Uh, it's not. It was taught you anything. It's the alternate name of Humane Meat. Humane Meat. That's right. Leaves, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming in. All right, squirrels are almost done. Can't figure out who to start a colony with two pawns of the Zoom type just created, or how. So basically, um, on the page with your pawn that you just that you're rolling in the top right, uh, top right is going to say baseliner. Click on baseliner, and you'll have a list of all the ones you can choose from, including your custom one, if you save the custom one. All right. We could do this for IDs. I don't think it's going to be. It might actually be worth. Screw it. Let's just get it. You main leather in the multiplayer playthrough you're doing with your fiance. You blame me. <laughs> Pretty awesome. If you're melee only, you're wearing a cup. Full body cup. Oh, using prepare carefully. Yeah, I have no idea on that one. Yeah. No idea. All right, I think we're good to open these back up. Okay. And go back to work. A new subscriber. I still hear one. Yourself. We are There's still one angry squirrel army. out there. Oh, he's, he's had it out. Uh, Vel, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Vel. 100 bits and five gift subs. Love to Vel again. I feel like I was just saying this. Thank you, Vel. Choo choo, mother. All aboard the hype train. Thanks, Vel. Tonight we dine in hell. Vel, Vel, thank you for the 666 bits. Thank you, Vel. Much appreciated. Why so many doors on your outer wall? I just explained it just a moment ago. I'll explain it again next time we have a raid when all the doors are up. It's gonna be asked a lot, I'm sure, which is fine. But uh, I'll explain it again after. Tread lightly. This is Boo's domain. Are we gonna become single phages? Absolutely not. Waffles, thank you for the 777 bits. Thank you, Waffles. Thank you, guys. A vicious rage and dingy. I only hit only the dangly bits. Make Xenotype similar to Impid. Will other tribes randomly use this gene setup? Uh, not at the moment, no. It, you would have to assign... You'd have to assign the Xenotype as a preferred Xenotype in their ideologies for it, that to work as far as I understand it at the moment. I don't know if that'll change or not. I think that's how it's working right now. Choo choo. Make it up for last guy. Run with all the doors. No, but I, I will explain it again when we start to use them. But there is a reason why I have so many. And it's not just so we can go out in more locations. I need to find a mining slave. Actually, they can do it. Tasca. Tasca, Tasca. Soon. Have random gene types as defaults. No. Random xenotypes? No, I don't think so. Please, it doesn't work anymore. You can also go into factions and hover over them, and it'll tell you what they're likely to send. So, like, we hover over this. 85% are going to be baseliner. 5% Hussar, 5% Dirt Mold, 2.5% Genie, 2.5% Neanderthal. Whereas the Rough Pig Union is 100% Pigskin. So you can just hover over and see what um what they can bring so like this tribe is baseliner this one's neanderthal impid baseliner you get the idea you get that can you edit that portion without a mod i'm not i don't think so i haven't tried though i know you can change custom um uh the xenotype they they like as far as their ideology, but as far as faction, I'm not sure. Oink, 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 oink. That reminds me, uh, I just talked about the Rudolph movie yesterday. I don't remember what about on the stream, but it reminds me of uh, the part where the elf 
just walking around pretending to be a, a pig for the abominable snowman and he's just going oink 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 he's literally saying oink <laughs> but it works all right uh they don't really have anything that we that we need right now so we're gonna wait we could go ahead and sell the heart if we end up needing it, you know, yeah. we get we get, we sell that anytime. No, I'm I'm not doing single phase. No, different. Naked speed? No, I don't want naked speed. <laughs> I need big armor, since we can only fight in melee. Why not getting the gold? I don't need gold at all at the moment. Gold would just increase our wealth and make raids bigger, for no reason. The only thing I would need gold for anytime is the multi analyzer, which we could go ahead and get 25 gold for. But I feel like we can just get that. If we need it. I mean, 25 gold is not a whole lot. Maybe it's worth going ahead and, and doing it, but it does make raids bigger. Let me see what the trade, what deal they're giving us on the trade at the moment. Wealth makes harder raids. Yes, I have an entire guide about wealth. That is how raids are calculated. Exclamation wealth type exclamation wealth. There's a I have a whole guide about it. There it is. There's the wealth guide. The very detailed guide. That's like one of the fundamental things of Rimworld is that wealth increases raid size. That's the main thing raid points are based on. All right, we'll just we'll just go ahead and get the twenty five for the multi analyzers. We're gonna be there soon. Yeah, the downside is uh, some of the fences won't give gold back, so because it's a one material, so sometimes deconstructing gives no resource back. We break on the lumberjack. Um, we could change the tea now. Now that we're producing enough tea, let's go ahead and change that. So we're going to go into assignment to manage the drug policy. We're going to select the melee god policy. And psychite tea, we're going to do every two days now. Okay, that should do that. Am I using the, I'm using the raid point display mod yet. Could gold be dropped outside a home area? That doesn't do anything. It doesn't matter where the wealth is. You can have gold here in no zone at all, and it still counts the exact same amount of wealth and raid points. Home zone, zoned, doesn't matter. That's also in the wealth guide. Um, again, exclamation wealth, or just type in uh, room world wealth guide on YouTube, and I'll show you. You're not giving me gold? No. Golden Club would be fitting tribute to your tier three subscribers. <laughs> Are you winning? I'm gonna go with the uh, maybe. All right, we got a new slave. Things are going better than yesterday. We're gonna set them as mining priority. Okay. Put them on biphasic schedule, work zone, and no drugs for the slaves. And we gotta get a name for them. Chilla. First when mined. It doesn't count as well if it's unmined. So if you have a gold or a steel node and you haven't mined it, that's not wealth, but as soon as you mine it, it's wealth, yeah. Yep. Again though, like I said, check out the wealth guide. Um it goes over all this and more, and it has timestamps for any of the parts you're you're uh, curious about. Mind freeze. Uh, Bobo, they, 37 months, Bobo. That's a long time. <laughs> Thank you, Bobo. You love the RimWorld stream still? Thank you. Long time, man. Long time. Right. Warhammer is on Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you. I'm Freeze, you're a slave. I'm sorry. 
What is he? Sorry. Long blades. Born. Born four thirteen. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Also. Thank you, Born. Hide in a room on Blim. All right. Have fun. Or don't. I don't really care. Wealthy rimming and got confusing results. Uh, yeah, I haven't made a guide on that one yet, Aram. I'll work on that. Work on that. Uh, that'll be on the OnlyFans, though. Exclamation OnlyFans to get there. You're going to have to wait a little bit. All right. Um, sure. We want to get a knight at some point, so. To uplift any of the current slaves? I am not. No. I'm not. Um, quick sleeper's good. Nimble. Like this one, maybe we do need some doctors and stuff. So this one is like a is a decent one. Nimble, faster, iron willed. Actually, mind freeze. Mind freeze, and he has good melee. If if I was going to take one of these, mind freeze is the biggest candidate right now. But I'm really looking for tough pawns. That's the big one I'm looking for to uh, uplift to melee god. So, we'll see. We've only found one tough pawn right now, and that's Lumberjack. We shall see. All right, we actually need to get double walls up. To get double walls up. I might wait a little bit. I'm going to need some more construction people. So one thing is, um, Lumberjack, we need to get them a better weapon sometime. He also needs to get a kill. He has the kill thirst weapon, so... Uh, we need him to kill something. Alright. Come kill this Ibex. Solaris. Flashbacks. Melee level 20. God. Is Lumberjack okay? Uh, no. No, not exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, let's see. Cassandra is on cooldown. We could go trade again. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I need another animal, though. All right, we're going to do a festival. We're going to see if we get a joint event of someone that's good with animals. Smack the crap out of those. Yeah. <laughs> He's a lumberjack. He's okay. Are you back, Sandy, or permanently damaged from the experience of the no walls run? Uh, permanently damaged, yeah. Unimpressive. Oh, it sucked. Do it again. Sky in your current colony. A tough jogger brawler. You have him run people down. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Fell out of the sky. Friendly visitors. I did set this, right? Whoops. Can't click the right button. Yeah. Oh, mind freeze. You're not a melee god. Can you still do it? Oh, nice job. Look at you, mind freeze. Look at you. Way to go. Way to go. What do you guys got? Probably more. It's just plus four, plus four hit for too much negatives. Subnimal jogger or melee pawn. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, yeah, I go over that in my, in my traits guide also. I mean, if you're doing melee only, you might as well have brawler on there. If you know, it, it, there's no negative, there's no downside to having brawler on there. 
messed up which altar you got two by two it needs 25 area whoops are you fluid ideology and they just keep leaving a silver nice i need to go trade that off though Sandra hit us on day. Let's go with 88. And she's like literally going to come off cooldown in a day. Uh, I should get this stuff out of here. It's fluid. Yeah, you can change it. Yeah, so when you do your uh, reform, remove the altar and just keep adding an altar back until it shows the one that doesn't require those things. Once you reform, you can just remove the altar and re-add it. Take the silver. Oh, by the way, there's a large group of raiders right behind us. Uh, how close are we to reforming? All right, let's go ahead and do another one. All right, humps, humps and fugly. <laughs> I just had an episode on YouTube and the dwarf run. Watch the dwarf run on YouTube, please, please. So I can continue putting out edited content. Anyway, look at that, food issues. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, and the slaves. Yeah. All right, humps and fugly, let's see here. Tough. Hmm. Uh. Tough, good melee, good construction, good social. Pyro. I think humps is always tough, yeah. A waster doesn't matter because that'll be gone. That'll be gone. How long? 1.1 1. 1 year. We would basically have to have him as a slave for a year. Uh, let's imprison him and then we'll decide. He can't be a colonist right now, so it doesn't matter. We gotta we'll decide. Okay. <sighs> Alright, we'll convert. Convert. Screw it. Knock it out. Got me through the door front. That's awesome. Yeah. Maybe you let me know. Uh, I really want to continue doing edited content on YouTube. I, I like I like them, um, you know, but at the moment they are nowhere near paying for themselves. I'd like them to break even right now. It's costing me three or four times more money to make them than it is that they're making. I can't do that forever. So I'm still going to let it, you know, we're still going to test it for a few months and hopefully, you know, the next series will be, um, more watched than the dwarf run because it's a more uh, challenging series. But yeah, if you if you haven't already, it really helps out to watch them on YouTube. If you have YouTube premium, downloading them actually helps a ton for the algorithm uh, and for income. You know, if you know anyone that would like the edited dwarf run, you know, if you didn't like the first few episodes, maybe try some episodes further down the line because uh, me and the editor got more in sync and it, it's kind of more how I envisioned it about five or six episodes in. So recruits and festivals already have your ideology. Not unless you said it. Yeah. But no, I, I didn't want to do that for this run. Humps doesn't deserve my gene spot. <laughs> a download is better than a view. If you have YouTube Premium, a download is better than a view. Uh, if you have YouTube Premium and you use Premium to download, for the algorithm, it counts as 100% watch time. 
it pays me part of your fund from uh from youtube premium subscription i get paid as if you watched all the advertisements it's it's just it's yeah it's really good so if you have youtube premium downloading uh anyone's content with the premium button not with like a third party plugin or something like that helps a lot yeah does does the zombie look because their xenogenes are changing zombies these are hulking melee gods zombies i don't know we just made them red eyes and we're like what if we make their skin green too i don't know <laughs> it wasn't to be zombies no but kind of works that way a little bit although if we did a zombie theme run uh i would do it a lot differently Uh, we can try this again, but depending on where it lands, we not, might not be able to do it. Yeah, they're closer to orcs, yeah. You watch and listen while you're hunting shiny Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that takes a long time. Yeah, thank you for doing that, Ishtar. Hulk smash. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this, and worst case scenario, we just let them destroy it if it's too crazy. Transport her down. I need an aesthetic too. We need to keep an eye out for an aesthetic pawn. Aesthetic tough would be uh, what we'd really, really want, but. All right, let's see how big the attack is. Right in your thesis right now. You got through two of the runs during that and your update update on the dwarfs. A uh, new dwarf episode now every day, every day. For anyone that didn't hear, so a new one came out uh, even today. Which day? Makes you not lose your mind during it. <laughs> Why aesthetic? Aesthetic royals don't need any of the royal stuff. They don't need special meals or special clothing or a special room. So... All right, let's see how big these kind of raids are and if we're just going to let them take the ship or not. I'm not going to lose our people trying it. Eight. Eight people out in the open. I think we could actually take it. Don't need a throne room, yeah. Oh, this is dangerous. But we only need to kill like four or five. We want to gang up on them so they hit the numbers where they retreat. There we go. So that wasn't bad at all. Art and construction, undergrounder. Okay. Ash up, how are your needs looking? Your needs are fine. You might do an extra go juice. Probably shouldn't do that, but. Act this drone. Standard might interrupt you. There's any parts. Um, we're tough and robust, so I would be, be really surprised. We did get a, a scar earlier, though, which is not good. Although I could go into pain as virtue, but then it has its own problems. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on his needs. Space drone is for an artifact. Yes. Yep. Space drone attack again already. Okay. Robuff. Robuff. Okay, just six on that one.
Needs are fine. Go back. It's going to give us a lot of human leather again, too. Just get some loose spherum. I'm actually really tempted. Really tempted. Whoa. <laughs> that guy is destroyed. I might actually go into loose spherum. It will be nuts. But then we got to keep loose spherum up. I, I might do it. The best melee weapon in Wormworld that you can craft? The best two. Uh, again, the answer is it depends. But really, Plasteel Longsword and Uranium Mace are both really good for different reasons. Uh, but even things like a Plasteel Knife. Plasteel Knife attacks very fast, causes lots of wounds, uh, and can lock them down. So just it just depends. But you can't go wrong with Plasteel Longsword uh, or Uranium Mace. Other ones you can craft. Going down Loose Fury route this early? Maybe... You're downloading the guides on your phone. That's awesome. Yeah, it does help a lot. Thank you, Kunker. What's the point of planting those flowers indoors to level up plant skill? No. You see this room? It's impressive. It's for beauty. Flowers increase beauty. Look at the beauty stat around them. And they grow in just torch or lamp light. You don't need sunlight or sun lamps. And so it increases mood. It increases room impressiveness. It increases mood. You just plant them right in the friggin' floor. We got shield belts. After this is over, I'm going to send Christopher to go see if we can find shield belts. Uh, let's expand work area for now to grab these corpses. How many of them would you addict to Lucerium? All the melee god pawns, yeah. Global Lucerium addiction run, I don't know. Thought flowers need sunlight? They do not. How many guys are uninjured already? Again, genes. Biotech genes. Uh, Exclusion genes, we'll show you what genes we have. Alright, let's see if we can knock this out here. Look at that jade doesn't get destroyed. Oh, uh, it can't. It doesn't have HP. Okay. Uh. Okay. Do I remind you of the fluid run? How it landed in the perfect spot? Then it's going to blow up yet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't a rough spot. That was the first time I'd ever seen one, obviously. It just come out. Yeah, I, I really thought uh, it was going to screw us over, but, but it did not. Fiction, did it carry the drug on them? They do. They do carry it. Yep. All right, butchering some humane leather and meat. Free range, free range tribals. Okay. I don't think we need this in this one at all. Grab smoke pop. Get a barren world pretty quick. Ah, there's endless, there's endless world pawns. Beggars hoping for aid. 
Please, can we have 700 silver? No, but are any of you tough ascetics? Quick sleeper iron wills. Trigger happy genie. Optimist. Yeah, raids will give you a bunch of supply, yep. Why did I choose Pollution Stimulus or the stat buff from it? It's, it's like we're going we're gonna to need as much stat boost as we possibly can. Speed and manipulation. Want to yoink the researcher? No, because they wouldn't be able to research. Slaves can't research. And we can't have another pawn for over a year, so... Slaves can't research, unfortunately. All right. Cassandra is off cooldown. We got to wait until she hits before I can take this stuff, which means we're probably going to lose out on a lot of that human meat. Uh, we'll just do Axe Survival Mule times four. Uh, do forever. Drop on the floor. Yeah. Restricted to two colonists? I'm not restricted to two colonists. Uh, actually, I should run. We'll explain. Yeah, I, I was looking for a um, an animal handling slave. But I didn't get one. So we'll check these for animals. Three. There's a four. That's good enough, maybe. Animals and plants and fast learner. 67. All they need to do is train some animals for us that, just for a trip. And then we can be done. Paul Shelton. All right. Betrayal. All right, Paul. Slave. Quickly. Why no freezer? I don't need a freezer. No reason for one. Just gonna add wealth, room, and so on. So on. I hardly ever make freezers. You just, just don't need them. Unless you're unless you're on a map where you have to hunt a lot or whatever or playthrough like that where you're mainly looting off meat you just don't need them you challenge run all freezers so. all right banging those out uh so what i do is i make simple meals and i set the first one to use only stuff that's going to deteriorate and rice doesn't really need it because rice takes 40 days to deteriorate without a cooler. So as long as you're not super overproducing rice, you're not going to you're not going to lose out on rice. And so there's really no reason to have a huge stockpile of food like that if you're on a map where you can just keep growing it. Uh, freezer tunnels don't really work very well for downing raiders. Even basic clothing is usually enough to keep them alive and out of frostbite territory. Why the personal bedrooms or mood? We have so many genes that are hitting our mood that uh, at this stage of the game, I just need the extra mood from the little bedrooms. Tree slaves arranged. No. And if winter comes... Well, then you have a freezer. The whole map then becomes a freezer. You just have a room with no heater in it. And there's your freezer. <laughs> so, I mean. Paul. Okay, Paul. Uh, we're not keeping him. Right? No, he's just the animal one. So. Slave mule.
Not bad, though. For a slave, but... But I gotta be careful, because we're getting higher and higher in rate points. Alright, wildlife. Uh, we need them to grab... Ooh, there's, there's horses now. Grab horses. That would be excellent. Okay, defenses are OP. They are. You can't grow rice in the winter. Uh, yeah, you can. You can use a geothermal vent. You can use a uh, geothermal generator. You just need one sun lamp and you're good. Or you just hunt. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not sure how that means you need freezers. All good. Welcome back. Your steadfast. I reduce lumberjacks. Beyonce issue. Yes. Appreciated. My use of caravan spots for animals changed your life. <laughs> born. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, born. And Spectrum. Thank you for the eight months, Spectrum. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Corn lasts 60 days unrefrigerated. So if you're on a map, you st even like that, even with like a 20 day growing period. You still don't need a freezer. I mean, make a freezer if you want, but it just takes up room, adds more wealth. Might not matter on your difficulty on the wealth, you know, but it adds more wealth, it adds more travel time. It adds a lot of things, but you can use it if you want. But I very rarely use freezers these days, only in certain circumstances, because it's just, there's almost no reason to. I mean, I had a Tundra run not too long ago that I put up on YouTube. Hardly ever use freezers in that one as well. Corn is eternal. Not that corn. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Um. Yeah, we'll just finish these off. Screw it. Ready to all human meat? Uh, yeah, I'm just turning it into packs of rubber mules because those will sell and those will keep, so. Should be fine. Waste is about the only reason to need a freezer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> armpit. <laughs> You're getting tired of that yet? <laughs> every month I'm like, man, every time I see your name, I think of Armpit. Oh, uh, thanks, Armpit. Don't like pemmican. I almost use pemmican every single run, yeah. But um, pemmican is really good because pemmican, they can eat only, they are able to eat, it's very nutrient deficient, and they can eat just how much they need. When you eat a meal, it actually overcaps hunger, but pemmican, they can eat just the number they need to cap their meal. It's very efficient. It's a lot of work time. So it's a lot of work time just for more efficient use of, of resources, basically. So it's, it's up to you. But I usually use them. Not in this run because I want to sell the uh, tax survival meals for more. Are auto doors the correct choice? Auto doors are amazing. Yeah, in the late game when you don't have to worry about, um, you know, like components or whatever, put auto doors everywhere. Start out in the main traveling areas and just put them everywhere. Plastic auto doors are incredible. Pemmican's a good travel food. Yeah, yeah. it's just good in general. Two Pollock trees. One square control zone for waste in between them. Worked really well because they overlapped. Also nutrient paste. Nutrient paste is also very good. Nutrient paste, I uh, used it all last run. Nutrient paste makes it so you don't get food poisoning. And you can basically make it so you don't ever get eat with eat without a table. If because they have to come back for the nutrient paste. So if you put tables just near the nutrient paste dispenser, you'll never have to worry, never have to worry about that either. You get a minus four mood hit unless you're transhumanist, but sometimes it can be worth it. I used nutrient paste the entire previous run. All right, let's see if there's anything we want to buy from them while they're here. We're about to get to the stage where we're using a lot of components. So I might start buying the components. Aside from that, though, I think we're good.
Not good enough. I think DLCs are too much for someone that wants to start learning the game or doesn't make more difficult to learn. The DLCs absolutely add more to the game and more complexity, which means more things to learn. I don't think there's any reason. I mean, it's up to you, like whichever one you it's fine if you if you want all the DLCs from the get go. I mean, that's absolutely fine, but it absolutely is going to add more complexity, more things to learn to your game. So it's up to you whether that is uh extra learning curve is worth it or not, or you can just add them over time. Always give the pin not enclosed. Uh, that's not why I'm getting pin on. Are you asking that because I'm getting pin or need pin or whatever? No, I, I think it's always, I think it has. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I hardly ever use pins anymore. Hardly ever use pins. I just use uh, caravan spots. I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Is it wrong to put all your waste packs at the edge of the map? I mean, if you don't mind your map getting pollution percentage, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If you keep building up pollution percentage, eventually you'll have things like acidic smog and stuff like that. But a gift. They left us a slate club. They know who we are. These guys really like hitting things. Okay. Uh. All right. All right. Are there any reasons for outer squares to have corners? On the outer wall, there is for this run specifically. I need more HP targets around the base for raiders to hit. So if they actually hit the corner, that's awesome. I don't even have to repair it. That's just, it's going to waste their time. In a normal run, the only reason to have corners is to block fire coming through it, basically. Are my first two pawns orcs? Sure. They're green. They're very orc-like, but not, not quite orcs. All right. They're orc adjacent. Okay, so we need humps named here. All right, so humps is crick. Whack. Whoa, wait, and we're going to put a um, capital S at the end. Or maybe we'll put an X at the beginning. We'll put an X that they're a potential candidate for being uplifted. There we go. All right. So for him, firefighting, patienting, basic, construction. There we go. Uh, we'll have him cut blocks. Okay, that should be fine. Major break on slave mule. Whatever slave mule, you need to get those horses. Hurry up. Entire reason for your existence. Christ's sake. Yeah, the um they're not they're not actually orcs, but the green skin and the red eyes definitely make them orc adjacent. And they're melee, so close enough. Firefighting, it, it doesn't matter because they're a slave. It's the same thing like slaves that are incapable of dumb labor. Slaves can still do dumb labor. All right. Yeah, I think that it wasn't like that when, uh, when Ideology first came out. I think they changed it pretty quickly. Uh, I'm supposed to split the recording in about 15 minutes. Okay. Actually really afraid the next Cassandra hit with all this crap going on. We might have to sacrifice some slaves. And you know what? We'll start making 
some cloths just for basic clothing. And then I'm gonna, gonna end up getting a devil strand for two super long. Gotta decide where I'm gonna do the devil strand. Let me just right here. Christopher is naked. Good. Next time we have some more human leather, we can use that. Also need to get a smelter going. We'll do that. We'll do that. Electric smelter, we'll just throw it in here for now. Okay. Uh, we're going to smelt weapon, do forever, drop on the floor, and we're going to do bio-coded only. And then uh, smelt barrel, do forever, tainted only, drop on the floor. Um, these can't be tainted anyway, but I always like to turn them off just in case. Just in case. Okay. All right. What do you do if a slaves rebel? I kill them. Our, our guys can easily kill all of these. No problem. Our guys have already handled raids that are like... What? We had a raid of like 14 people earlier and we killed them. So the slaves rebel. We'll kill them. It's not weapon. Do forever. Um, we'll do awful and poor of everything. There we go. Drop on the floor. Melt weapon. Do forever. Um, volcanic winner. Oh, no. Oh, no. Melt bad quality. I already set it up. Maybe your stream's a little bit behind or something. Uh, let's see. Actually might use some of those, but Warhammer's pretty good. Spear's pretty good too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait on that section. Uh Yeah, we'll wait a little bit. Volcanic winter, that really sucks. Alright. Um Smelt Barrel. Do forever. Awful and poor. These don't have quality, so it doesn't really matter. Drop on the floor. Smelt apparel. Do forever. Drop on the floor. Uh. Zero to fifty-one percent. I don't want to set up the rest. There's more I need to set up, but I just don't want to do it. All right, we'll do, we'll come back to it. No pause run. Any tips for a pause addict? Um, there's a couple things. One is you can get in the habit of as soon as you see a raid, just draft everyone and click towards your base just in case. Uh, start. Make sure you're using zones. You know, zones are very important. Uh, and get ready to do triage. Triage is a big part of it. So. Basically, when you have people that are damaged, make sure you're able to go to the health and hit comma and period to go through, see who's bleeding, who's going to die the soonest, and start drafting them in order, and really get good at triage where, like, maybe you get someone that's dead in two hours, someone's dead in four, but you, you cure one bleed on this one, and they go up to six, switch targets and go heal the other one. So that's one of the big ones that you're going to have to get used to with no pause, because you do not have time to, um, to, like, wait on that sort of thing. So I would say just have a plan in mind for each type of raid ahead of time when it could happen. Um, and then, yeah, pretty much it. Just have a plan of each type. So like, if this raid happens, this is what I'm gonna do. Get good triage and, uh, and good luck. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, the range, I don't know. I was I was on the fence about that too. Selling versus, um, versus smelting. All right, how much power do we have? We actually have enough for a sun lamp, especially if we just throw down a battery. I think I'm going to do that because of volcanic winter. So we 
don't really have to worry about um, about food during it. This thing can last a long time. So we might end up needing multiple, but... Yeah. Anyway, we're going to do one... At least one. Is that our biggest section of... Uh, no, this is our biggest section. There we go. If that's gonna be that. And uh, we'll put a battery in. Phage though, you rarely triage. That's if you have a single phase, yeah. Okay, your recruit calls already have your xenotype. Can I during this run? There's not going to be any, I don't think. So, so no, not really. Now we got to check the temperature. If the temperature keeps dropping below 32, we're going to have to enclose it. Otherwise, we should be all right. Have I gotten bored while playing Rimworld before? Countless times, but Rimworld is my job, so... There are many, many, many days that I would just rather play something else. I I probably would be play, playing something else today. I'm, I mean, I'm still having fun with Rimworld right now, and this run is been, has been fun. But it's not like... The number one thing I would want to play right now, for instance. I'd probably be playing something else if it was all the same. But it's, you know, it's literally my job to play it, so... It's kind of like, you know, if you went to like a cashier and was like, man, you sure do cashier a lot. Aren't you bored of this? Wouldn't you like to be doing something else? Like, yeah, sometimes, sometimes, you know. I know that's a little extreme of an example in comparison, but you know what I mean. I don't even know what that is, did he? <laughs> All right, Sandra should be hitting us soon. I'm kind of scared of what it's going to be. Thanks, Grasswing. I'm glad you think so. Kind of afraid to see what Cassandra's next thing is. It's a food serving game. Gotcha. <laughs> Cashiers have no dreams. Hope you're not like that that uh arizona woman that i ran into that one time that was a lot of fun all right we're going to uh turn the power off on that uh the heaters aren't really doing anything for this room so we're going to close that do you get bored of your monday only feet stream no absolutely not yeah it's the highlight of my week gotta get this traded off i was gonna wait for her next hit i was also gonna wait on a horse or two we have one horse uh christopher do i send you on the road i can drop the wealth here to next to nothing hmm additional limitations with each run just to feel something no Beat stream pace the rest of the week. You remember that story? <laughs> you heard only feet in the next room. <laughs> Came running. And I'm really tempted to send him. Uh, wanted some more, some more animals. I don't know what it would take if I brought everyone with us. That would that would reduce the raid size that's gonna hit by like like nothing. Like nothing. But if we got hit on the way, that would be big. Hmm. I'm really worried about the raid size right now. Forty one thousand wealth. Uh, 
let's wait until Blim's over the breakdown at least. Mm hmm. Whoa, what color did my hair be on the next time? I have no idea. It's like the third or fourth color. Thanks, Charity. I guess we'll just knock some other things out. Why not? All right. Slave Mule. Blim's over, so let's see if Slave Mule gets any more of these horses. All right. Let's risk it a little bit. I just don't have armor, yeah. I don't I don't I don't have the stuff to make it really. If we find some for sale now, I'll, I'll probably buy some, yeah. Alright, alright. Oh, this is this is risky. This is risky. Sandra's awake. So That's good enough. Just get out. Point two days. The horse is nice. Nice. Just use colored highlights. <laughs> Thanks to Maj have a pawn that's fifteen hundred percent move speed. That's right. I'm trading for wealth that defends itself. I'm trying to. We can get out of here before Cassandra hits. Your steadfast loyalty yep. is greatly appreciated. Or Jack, can you put that out? Thanks. Thanks. All right, Lumberjack. Um, rip. A little knockout. Seven months being the perfect Rimworld chill out stream. Thanks, little knockout. Glad you're still enjoying all of these months later. All right, so we're looking for shield belt mainly and perhaps Luciferium. Is Phoebe easier than Cassandra? Yes. I have a storyteller guide up as well if you want to look, but Phoebe literally cannot hit with as many raids as the other two. Um, as, as many negative events, she just can't. She has a longer cooldown and she hits with less raids. So the now her raid points can still get just as high as Cassandra, so she can hit with the same raid points. So the real part where it's like, oh yeah, Phoebe is actually pretty hard. It's because you have so long between a raid that you get like complacent or you don't realize how much higher your wealth has gotten between the raids. And so the next raid seems bigger than you would expect, but it's the same raid size that if Cassandra would have hit you with, but she can hit with you with more raids and more often, so. Pros cons with living close to a road. Roads on the world map increase your movement speed on the world map. No shield belt. Might end up having to just get to and make our own. Steel plate armor. Christ. All right. Um, Mono sword, Zeus, hammer. Uh, okay. All right. Keep going. Vampires are unstoppable. Sent him in against mech clusters and his gear set on fire. By the time he got him back, he had no arms or legs. I mean, no, they're not. <laughs> they're strong, and they only die if their brain is destroyed, but they can still lose all their limbs, and their gear doesn't have any bonuses. They can, they can literally lose all their body parts. So. Unstoppable just means that they don't get stunned. They, don't, they, they basically don't have any effect to stopping power from a weapon. So stopping power on a weapon is when, like, a pawn is moving, and they get hit with a weapon... And they slow down for a little bit, almost like a mini stutter or stun. That's what the unstoppable gene does. So if you have that gene on someone, you're like, wait a minute. 
Doesn't seem too unstoppable. That's all that gene does, but no. Uh, Sanguifages can absolutely get get uh, downed pretty quickly. They can down just as just as quickly. It's just they don't die unless their brain's destroyed. Song of Assault Rivals breaks. I know, man. I know it's weird. No, no shield belts. There's a low shield. Maybe I should grab it. Holy crap. Bad luck. Really pushing it. Alright, go. Oh, there's this event. Hang on. Oh, I didn't roof that. Crap. Turn that off for now. We'll roof it when we're back. You got enough food to survive? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know. That's why I explained both. I explained both um, being unstoppable, literally, and the gene. Yeah. Sprinter, zombie build, fast running gene, naked speed gene, and the implanter. Yeah, so I'm just going to end up doing this. Go, yellow dot, go! I wanted to get there before it got dark again. Oh, well. Might just barely make it. We are zooming. Christ. Maybe tomorrow. Fire creativity on mind freeze. Okay. It's friggin' volcanic winter. I end up having to cut some slaves loose. Animation is almost the perfect rhythm for the song. <laughs> What do you mean by cut some slaves loose? Literally cut them. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. <sighs> Spying your way to colony implants. There has to be the Yeti build. Minus 40 Celsius comfortable temperature. Some stark white fur skins. Makes ice sheet work for you. Uh, I'm going to go with Il Malignos. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the two ones. Yourself. Finger guns. We are building an army. Finger guns. Thank you for five more gifts. I'll see you, finger guns. Uh, much appreciated. Much love to finger guns again. I feel like I was just saying that. Thank you, finger guns. Come on, shield belts. If not, we're going to work on getting to make those next. Yep. All right. Well. And, uh, no armor either. Mono sword. There's a normal Zeus hammer. We could actually buy that. I mean, obviously, that would be a big upgrade. Uh, all right, let's get it. Okay, do I want to go loose Spherium? I think I do. But we have other more important things right now, the money. So let's just get home. We'll about that later. Interesting miss in the last 15 minutes. Just us not being able to find a shield belt. But it's... Uh... So. We will be making our own. Oh, we had a volcanic winter start. I don't know if you saw that or not. 
I know they have Luciferia me at the last one I saw, but I don't know if I want to get it yet. It's the thing. I don't know if I want to addict people to it yet. I will eventually, but... Caravan has arrived. I'm at supplier. Okay. Next trader having shield belt. <laughs> you guys are really wanting to gamble, huh? Come on, pigs. You got shield belts on you? Hey, an excellent shield belt. Oh, that's really nice. Real nice. Shield belt and a Zeus hammer. Moving up in the world. Moving on up. Moving on. Up. All right. Let's see, Christopher, uh, your current DPS, what was it? Melee DPS twenty one five one one five. Wow, it's actually lower for this. It's kind of nuts. Um, what is yours? Should have checked before I had to drop it. 0.75. Okay, so it's basically do we want the stun from the Zeus hammer? I think I'm gonna do. I gotta remember. I gotta remember to get this afterwards. I'm gonna throw the Zeus hammer out here. Probably saying to yourself, what? What are you thinking? Um, we're gonna throw the Zeus hammer out there. Those weapons, and this is worth like 2,500 or something right now. And weapons have the same damage no matter what. 2,000, that's it. We're gonna let it degrade just a little bit. Okay, shield belt. Christopher, you get that. Excellent, excellent. What are you thinking? I'm lowering the value, the market value. Yeah, so the thing about the Zeus hammer, it's gonna the damage is gonna function differently. So like when the damage hits a part, if it destroys that part or whatever, it's gonna radiate into the connecting part. So it's a little bit different. Um, and it also has the stun the EMP for mechs. So actually, I haven't had mechs yet, but we will. We will. The lower DPS, bigger meteor swings, basically. We're going to have to uh, wall this in. See if that gets it warm enough. A lot more than sharp. Well, it, it depends also, yeah. That, there's a lot of it depends, so. Melee stuff is extremely complex, and your, your best bet is usually just to go with what the game tells you, but it's not really completely accurate. There's a lot of complex bull crap that it uses, and it depends on what material Welcome you're attacking into, what armor, what material that armor was made from, and there's a, just a lot of crap. So you might as well just go with whatever the most 
DPS and utility mix that they need, right? Um, Alric, they were the three months thing. Alric, any advice for getting started on Total War Warhammer 3? So, my advice, Capitos, is uh, put it down on the easier difficulties. Put it down on the easier difficulties. If you're if you're just getting Warhammer 3, play the Kislev Prologue and just play on the easy difficulties. The great thing about uh, Total War Warhammer is that you can adjust a lot of different difficulty sliders, including the 4x part and the RTS part separately. So if you're like, man, I'm really bad at the battles and I really like the overworld, and that seems too easy. You can adjust the overworld to be harder, um, to, you know, to your liking. So that's my very basic. Why the roof farm? Volcanic winter. Too cold. Much of the day is too cold to grow. Let's get that in case we need it for the future. Volcanic winter. And yeah, this, we don't want this slave. We only got him to train animals, so we'll have him see if he can grab some more horses. I'd like to sacrifice him to the raid, but we might just do an actual sacrifice. Fire starting spree. You tried to light the altar on fire. Mm. Owen. All right. So there's a trick with paralytic abasia that they still haven't fixed. So you can actually go find the paralytic abasia pawn. Here they are. Owen. And you can see if you want to deal with them or not. And if you don't, you can just go kill them and there's no downside. So do I want to deal with them? No, no, I don't. So, Lumberjack with his killer weapon is going to come out here. Kill Owen and get a bonus from it. Uh, that's another thing, yeah. So, after your... Do you have the other two games? Because I... There's some more comments to it. But yeah, I think the Kislev prologue campaign, if you're just getting started, Warhammer 3 is a great, great one to do. It introduces you to different aspects of the game and different types of units um, over time. Well, see, we didn't get the minus for not accepting an Abasia. We don't have to deal with the Abasia. It's a win-win for everyone other than the, the dead Abasia guy, but they're not, they're not even real. All right. All right, we are going to sacrifice Slave Mule. All right, we have to imprison him first. Mule, let me just double check here. I don't know. They're pretty pretty good. But I have some others that are basically doing the same thing that are better. He's just adding more raid points. And he's costing us food. <laughs> Not even real anymore. No dead Abasia ever complained. A bug or mod you're using? Place a blueprint for a geothermal generator on an unexplored mountain tile and build it. Interesting. Um I think no, I think that's I think that's a bug, yeah. I think you I think it's a bug. I think I remember something about that. Production. I take research bench and we are putting it not next to the edge because, well, we can use lots of different doors for melee blocking. We don't necessarily need that one, so it should be all right. Okay. But yeah, I, I feel like I remember someone else mentioning it, so it must be a bug. Or maybe they had the same mod, you know? <laughs> uh. Ouch! Ouch, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, ouch, much appreciated. Might be from replace stuff. Uh, there's a crafting trainer there. Nine turrets, one waster. We can deal with that. 
with the with the low or uh, with the shield belt. Ghost Rider crafting is interesting. It's not super far away. Another solar flare, jeez. How long is this volcanic wintering going? 5.7 days. I think they can last up to 40. Ugh. Okay, um, let's get those shields researched so we can make another one. We're gonna get to scanners pretty soon. I don't have any real allies, so I'm not... Could do the, um... You know, uh, we could do it for... I'm just saying it's as if you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we could make the comms console trade with ships. Definitely do want another one of these. Uh, let's reinstall this over here. Roof, roof area. Here, build that one. All right, 250 more steel. Got some right here. Make sure that's not overhead mountain. Although having bugs be some of our major events might actually be good for us. Mind freeze, hypothermia. For Christ's sake, mind freeze. Stop being cold. Oh, okay, boss. All right. Uh, okay, we can shut that door now because we're doing raids differently. So shut that door. Leave this one open for the heat dissipation. Asexual con conflict with the psychic bonding. I have not tried that. If you end up trying, let me know and I'll know what to tell others. Eclipse. There's all kinds of little world events going on. Why not remove a, roo remove a roof tile? It's so that I can put a telescope in there. Have it indoors. I guess I don't need it indoors anymore, though, because of how we have raid stuff set up. So maybe I will just put it outside now. Uh, Yeah, it's fine. I'll put it outside now. You ever have Jets Pizza? No, I don't know of Jets Pizza. Is it a place or like a, uh, like a frozen pizza or? Twitch has been screwing up today for some people, yeah. All right, I need to split the recording. Uh, I meant to do that about 20 minutes ago. So let me split the recording here. Actually, uh, I'll be right back. Don't let Cassandra attack me. I'll be, I'll be right back, okay? This is on you guys. generous bestowal.
Wow, look at that. Chair earning some bits again. Chair's like up to $2 now. Uh, waffles, the 100 bits. All right, let me see what they're recording here. A generous bestowal. Uh, it's a chain and they do squares. Our complex gives you coupons every now and then for 50% off. No, I haven't heard of that one. I haven't heard of that one. Uh, Conquer, thank you for the 600 bits. Thank you, Conquer. 